Techtopia Second Space. Welcome back to it. Uh, last time we said we were going to finish up the life support systems. Ooh, I'm all black. That that's huh. Galactocraft, why you do that? Anyway, uh, we were going to do the life support system and finish that up and finally get ready to do the whole Techtopia stuff. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to finally put a lid on the whole uh, life support stuff, get enough oxygen to last plenty, hopefully, anyway. And so in order to do that, I'm thinking of making these capsules here, which is going to be full of leaves and just collect all the oxygen we need. I'm thinking... I'll build one, see how that goes, and then stack it however high makes sense to do. And hopefully that'll be the end of it. But uh, yeah, so I just made a little bit of framework real quick. That way we can get that out of the way and it looks all fancy and stuff. Um, yeah. So I, I kind of just doubled up the slabs here so it seems like the slab is the end cap of a capsule. And then they put another capsule on top of it. And then of course I put a airlock on the inside. And then just framed out how this is going to look. All this space in here is going to be glass. And hopefully I can figure out an interesting texture to do for the glass. And it's going to be stained glass because sci-fi. And then I'll just walk us through the process. But uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you think we should do in uh, the space station because I want I want to get back into it. I kind of left it on the back burner for like a couple weeks or something. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna do first cut. We'll be back once I put in the glass and probably get all the wiring stuff ready. See you then, I guess. Okay, so we're back, and I threw in the glass, and I also went ahead and did all the wiring work, and add a bit of infrastructure to the thing. So now we have this big, like, metal girder in the middle with the wires and stuff, and then I just did a little fancy uh, holding thing that'll hold the oxygen collectors. And I was doing some reading, and you actually can have a huge area for one or two oxygen collectors. So hopefully this one, when we get all the leaves in here, and I'm going to fill practically the whole thing with leaves. But hopefully when we get all the leaves in here, it'll be a bit more efficient than the uh, one all the way at the bottom here, if I can get to it. Hopefully it'll be more efficient than this guy down here. Because this guy is not very efficient at all. It's like very low leaves and way too many oxygen collectors. So this one up here, less oxygen collectors, more leaves. And there's going to be like three of these guys, so hopefully it'll turn out okay. I'm going to throw in all the leaves, kind of make it seem a little bit uh, logical to it, hopefully, anyway. And uh, we'll be right back again. Okay, and there we go. I added the greenery and stuff and tweaked some things. Apparently this area is too big for a um, the oxygen sealer to seal. So inside of these areas where you collect the oxygen, it's actually going to be um, a vacuum. So uh, that's just a warning to the non-existent spacemen that live here. 
But honestly, I really like how this turned out. I did all the leaves by hand, so it kind of like drips down near here, but at the top it kind of fills up. And it's very overgrown, very impressive. A lot of oxygen. Like, these things are full. So that means the entirety of the space station is full, which is impressive. But, uh, that's not enough. I am greedy. I don't think having one of these will do well. So, I put a marker there, marker there, and copied it. And we're going to be adding two more of these. Uh, hold on. I want to make sure still have plenty of room. We're at Y108. Yep, we have plenty of room. So if I add a couple more of these, we'll still have room to build the giant thing on top, and it'll be great. All right, so here we go. Look up. Stack two. There we go. That looks monstrous. Like, that looks terrifying, is what I was going to say. You know what? Uh, two of them is probably a bit too much. Or three of them is a bit too much. Uh, let's stack one. There we go. That looks good. Now I just gotta... Uh, yeah, for sure fix these. Uh, let's see... Airlock controller... Horizontal... 2 meters. I opens and closes correctly. This one opens and closes correctly. This one doesn't. Two meters horizontal. Now we have a double airlock, which is all great. This guy works too. Okay. And then I gotta go around and fix all this again because it's screwed up. And get the oxygen running again. Oh boy. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm going to fix that and then add some final touches. Like, I gotta fix that too. But I want uh, to have like mini solar panels. Not as big as those, but like the regular rotating ones in, be in between, like around here. Just so we have a little bit more power and everything will be fine and dandy. I also want to add like struts kind of in between these two but also like here just so you know it's there and just kind of helps with the whole design of the thing but anyway I'm going to do that and then we'll be in for like a last overview or something I'm not sure what, what we'll be doing, but you get the idea. Be right back for one final time. Alrighty, here we are, all done. I added some struts and tiny little solar panels, the moving ones. They don't really do much, but I, I feel like every chance we get, we should add some plants with oxygen collectors and also add some solar panels, just because this thing's pretty big. So I figured, why not? Now, I also added some struts, so like, in between these two, they once they joined up, people added structural bits because this thing is going to be housing the main spaceport on top of it so I feel like that makes sense 
and I also added some at diagonal heading down to the ring so the the ring won't be spinning uh, that that's just not something that'll be able to happen at this point but I mean that's fine it makes sense and uh, once we build the thing on top I'm gonna be doing this staircase thing on here as well and also a bit going straight up and down to sort of give it like a truss system so like this huge this whole thing is just a big truss which uh, puts into perspective the scale of this thing like that's the whole space station and that's just the bottom portion of this whole thing there's gonna be a whole thing on top of this so yeah look forward to that but uh yeah so we are currently at y131 so we have plenty of room to expand the space station upwards into the sky and whatnot but i do believe we are done as far as life support system so the main bulk of the powerhouse of the space station is complete but uh yeah my name's King, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, where we will start working on the spaceport side of things. Uh, tune in then. Bye!